Okay, a while back ago I made a video about the difference between the spline curve and the control point curve. For whatever reason, I skipped the most crucial, the most important difference, which I will show now. So the control point curve is control point oriented, as the name says. So start to draw a line along the snapping points here. It snaps, but the control point of the curve snap, not the curve itself. And if you try to use this one as a guiding curve for a loft you are about to do, you will have a hard time because here you will have a problem. The spline curve is curve oriented, not control point oriented. So draw the spline curve on this side, again along the snapping points. Here you can snap the curve itself to the snapping points, not the control point. So if we look with control point view, here you can see the control point of the control point curve snapping to this point of this curve. But here the control points aren't snapping. The control points are created automatically, but the curve itself is snapping. So if you want to create guiding curves use the spline curve otherwise like i said you will have a hard time you will have to readjust and whatnot and you won't succeed go with the spline curve so let's continue i will delete this one let's continue with the spline curve i create a second one you can also use shift r for repeating the command so let's loft then select the spline curves as guiding curves. Keep in mind that you should use the spline curve if you want to create guiding curves for already existing curves. And if you are wondering what I am doing here, just some studies for an upcoming course.